Okay, Johnny, so what's the plan then? What are we going to try and show today? Okay, so one of the issues that people perceive of these clays, the, the eco clay, is that you, they don't look the same in the, in the air. So we're going to load half the carousels with normal pitch clays and half with the eco clay. And then we're going to go back and we're going to film it from underneath and I'll give you a fiver if you can choose the right one. You and a fiver? Wow. <laughs> Generous. <laughs> How important is what you've been playing at for the last eight years? Eight years and lots of lolly. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's been a labour of love, I'll tell you. We have um, failed many more times than we've succeeded. I've just brought a few examples for you to have a look at of various different materials we've used. Um, I should have probably kept more of them, actually. So this was um, starch-based. It um, made a batu perfectly, as you can see. And these were made uh, seven years ago. Uh, unfortunately, it wouldn't form, it wouldn't form the, 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 the serrated edge to, to hit the driving arm. So uh, they went. Okay. Uh, then we went to um, pure lignin, which is um, obviously it's a tree resin, uh, it's like and toffee. it is like toffee. And um, when you shot it, if you got it right, it broke very nicely. But it was very prone to having um, single pellets through it. So uh, that went. How many seconds? <laughs> you have like... got no idea. <laughs> You, 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 there's a pain there. There is a certain pain, yeah. It's like divorce, mate. It's very unaffordable. Right, so David, this is now, as you can see, alternate columns. Okay. Um, and all we're going to show here is that, um, that this clay looks black underneath, but until you see it in the air, you won't believe me. Now, one of the things that's really interesting to do, and we'll try and do it, is that when it's in the air as an eco, it's black, and then as it falls behind you, and only when you see the top of it, you can tell it's an eco. So that's how we're going to prove it. Okay, picture eco, boys. <laughs> well, that's eco. Right, let's go. Picture eco, boys. Pitch. But only when it's on top of you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, on you go. Picture eco. Come on. You're it's wrong, an it's an eco. <laughs> and this is the ground manager that can't tell the difference. So as good as the shooters are, right, go. Pitch or eco? That's a pitch. But I'm cheating because I can see the carousel. Right, so you, you, you turn around, I'm bored of you cheating. No, no, turn around, <laughs> shut your ears, right? Just don't, just don't look. Is this, are we on A or B? B yours. That's definitely a pitch. You're right. It's difficult to tell on, on that, actually. Well. Ooh, pitch. Ooh, eco. So uh, they failed. That was another. There's an awful lot to be expected of your product, isn't there? Yeah, we're trying to produce a, um, a clay that um, replicates coal tar at about the same price point. It was rather like looking for a needle in a haystack. All right, so. Uh, what do you when, with the experiment so far? There's no fibers changing hands here, Johnny. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm about 25 quid up, so I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Um, no, okay, so uh, David, right, here we go. We're now at the side. We're sort of 20 yards off the side of it. Eco. Oh, yeah, but you waited for that to come a long way down. I know. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> because, because a fiver's a lot of money for me. <laughs> so there you go, there's a pitch. You cannot tell. There's a pitch side on. It's only when you see the head of it. Yeah, it's only when it gets below eye level you can yeah. really tell. So now we've gone um, 30 yards the other side. Jonathan, yep. your call. Okay. Ready? Yep. Pitch. Eh. Uh. Give over. <laughs> there you go. Your oh. reputation. And do, and, do, and, do you know, and do you know why? Because I just picked it up there on the, you could just see the edge on there, <laughs> yeah. but you had to look earlier. Yeah, now you can tell this pitch when Again, you've got to wait for it to drop to the R-line. When I bought the company with my partners uh, 16 years ago, the first trip I went on to was to France, and I was presented with this. And he said, it is meld. And I said, yes, <laughs> it is meld. Um, and this was a byproduct of the Mediterranean sun hitting a stack of coal tar targets. So we won't have that in the future. You know, you're talking about eco targets. 
there's different levels of eco in all different types of, of products. So I think, I think this is a matter of um, defining what an eco actually is. And in our opinion, uh, an eco is free of all PAHs. So this target, orange on one side, is completely and utterly free of all PAHs. I just want to show you how they break. Um, and our belief is that they break just as well as coal tar, just as well as petro. Uh, and you get this really nice white puff of smoke if you get it right. <laughs> Might be difficult for me. But anyway. Um, you brought your, um, your clay gun. Yeah, I bought my, my absolute go-to clay gun. Um, and it's got a Zimmer frame out and we're going to have a go. <laughs> So did you see that, do you see that, well, how, you know, the Zimmer frame and I get on from time to time. Um, but did you see how it went white in the smoke? Yeah. So that's the, really the only way you can tell the eco from a distance. Okay, I'm going to try a couple more. Ready? Mm -hmm. One more. Okay, so they do break and they break white as opposed to break black because they're a, they're a, um, they're chalk and a resin rather than chalk and petro pitch so that will give you a black break so um yeah crystal ball time this playground in five years time what differences will we see do you think uh no more lead shot uh and uh, no more petro based clay pigeons my little secret. I can't tell you more than put it back in the white envelope, but my little secret. That's your resin, is it? That's my resin. Oh. That is my resin. It's like Jurassic Park. You've got a mosquito in that. I have.